Hey, this is Mark Oko, the fingertip maestro, and here's some tips on how to play fingertip MIDI, which I've got connected wirelessly to Ableton Live. The app is designed in rows, so the easiest way to play it is by swiping from row to row. I've got the quantization turned on, so that'll keep me in time, so I can do this. Notice how I generally hit the uh, root note, which is the furthest one to the left. That kind of nicely grounds the chord. And also, I did some long swipes and some short swipes for some variation, because if I just did that all the time, it would be very, very boring. So, what you can do next is try using two hands. I did there, uh, I was kind of gently moving along the row with my left hand, with my right hand, sorry, and then with my left hand, I had a few little taps as I played, just again for some variation, make it sound very melodic and musical. Um, what I'm going to do next, you can also try, instead of playing three notes next to each other, you can make gaps in your fingers to get different chords. Can move up and down the row. So if I do that with my uh, right hand and then add the left hand on the root note, you get this. Which sounds very, very musical. Again, I'm just going from side to side with the right hand, hitting the root note with the left hand. You could also try something like this. So I'm just going up and down uh, the rows with uh, my right hand and my left hand just staying on the, the couple of chords, a uh, couple of notes on the, on the left hand side there, which sounds, uh, sounds pretty nice. Uh, so try out experiments. Like I say, it works best if you do play it in rows, but obviously you can play however you want. Um, you know, and just switch it up, vary it up, use two hands, swipe, long swipes and see what you come up with.